Why does my computer crash randomly? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for AskLeo.com. Here's a question that I get, honestly, from time to time. My PC is not quite a year old, but it recently started to crash even while just running Word. Antivirus, both check everything in order. What could possibly be the matter here? So by crash, I want to be clear. What we mean are things like random blue screens, black screens, reboots, freezing up or shutting down, all without warning. There is one cause that I find is the most common by far. That most common cause is an overheating computer. The most common cause of an overheating computer is blocked airflow. The most common cause of blocked airflow is an accumulation of dust and debris. Fans in your computer blow air through its components to keep them cool. Your computer's CPU and hard disk and other components all generate heat, sometimes quite a lot. If the components become too hot, they can fail and cause a crash. Now, particularly in laptops, it's really easy to block the air vents, allowing that airflow through the device. I recommend not putting a laptop on your lap, for example. Use a table or a laptop desk to ensure proper airflow. Desktop computers are more vulnerable to dust and pet hair, which can clog the vents. It's worth unplugging your computer and looking inside. Carefully clean it if you find a lot of dust and dirt. After blocked air vents and dirt, the next most common cause of an overheating computer is a failed fan. Fans themselves have become kind of complex over the years. To reduce noise, computer fans operate off at different variable speeds, running quietly at slow speed when things are relatively cool, and speeding up to move more air as the computer heats up. Given that fans have become more complicated and they're running all the time, yeah, they do fail. I have had it happen. The temperature inside your computer can change depending on what you're doing, too. The harder the computer's CPU and specifically works, the more heat it generates. That's why variable speed fans make sense. If your computer is idling, you don't need all the fans to run at full speed. On the other hand, if the CPU is working hard, then the fans will speed up to cool things down more aggressively as the internal temperatures rise. Listen to or watch your computer's fans as you use your computer. If they never turn on, there's almost certainly a problem with the fan or its control circuitry. Your computer should be designed to handle the maximum heat its CPU can generate. Even if your CPU is at 100% usage, the fans should keep up. A machine crashing randomly, the longer it's used or the harder its CPU is put to work, is a warning that there is an overheating problem. So, bottom line so far, yeah, check for overheating first. After that, things get a little bit harder. Malware, as it turns out, is no longer a common cause of random crashes. These days, malware is actually more interested in keeping your machine running so that it can do its malicious work. Certainly, look for malware, but don't be surprised if you don't find any. Failure is always an option. Like I said, fans can fail, but hardware can fail. We think of hardware failure as being instant and total and catastrophic, but various components can have intermittent, delayed, or random types of failure modes. Next to the fan, failing RAM is probably the most common hardware-related cause of random crashes. Programs don't always get loaded into the exact same place in memory, which means you might sometimes access bad RAM and sometimes not. Software is what people think of first, but the vast majority of software errors do not cause your computer to crash. More commonly, a program may crash or terminate unexpectedly, but Windows itself will keep running. The one exception, device drivers. A bug or some other kind of error in a driver could cause it to fail and crash the entire system. If you've recently added hardware involving new or additional drivers, or if a recent update included drivers, then yeah, drivers belong on your list of suspects. The hard disk itself, either HDD or SSD, deserves a special mention. 
A disk with bad or damaged information affecting any of the software, including Windows itself, drivers, or your applications, might cause a crash. You usually get warning signs, such as significant disk slowdowns or even bad sectors or CRC errors before the crash. So here's a plan of attack for a computer that is crashing randomly. First, make sure that it has unrestricted airflow. Make sure it's free of dirt and dust and the fans are all working properly. Run a CPU temperature monitoring tool. Speccy is a free tool that displays this and a bunch more. Consider running a memory diagnostic tool such as Memtest 86. Run a hard disk diagnostic as provided by your disk manufacturer or just run check disk slash R. Make sure the operating system and the device drivers are as up-to-date as possible. And as always, make sure your security software is running and is up-to-date. As always, if the crashing started after a recent change, consider reverting to a system backup taken prior to that change to see if something goes away. For updates, for comments, for links related to this topic and more, visit askleo.com slash 4437. I'm Leo Notenboom and this is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.